Oh, why is he so mad? Hello everyone and welcome back to my Not So Berry playthrough. We are still with Generation 1, Minta Berry. I, I, I think that's how I pronounced her name before. Minta, Minta, Mint, Mint, Mini. I think it's Minta, so hopefully I'm correct. If you'd like to see the rules and instructions for this challenge, the link is below and let's get back into it. Okay, so we are back with Minta Berry, who just got engaged to her new fiance, Jay Huntington III. Oh, let me check their compatibility. Good compatibility. But we have to get married by... Where did it go? Okay, I know I had this before. Because I don't see the little thing for the marriage for money. I'm going to play it that they have to get married tomorrow. And then I'll give her, like, oh, I'll Hanna. Google it, see how much you get for the married for money. Oh, I'm sad that's not there. And she just became good friends with Jay. They are a cute couple, even though I know they're not gonna end up in the long run together. So you're excited, but now you need to figure out and set up a wedding. So that kind of takes a little bit more precedence. So we're gonna make a wedding... Invite some guests. Do we invite Eliza or not? I say let's invite her just for the drama. Let's do it in the museum. I'll set something up there. And it's gonna be at 4 p.m. So now it's official. We're going to be posting about our wedding, but while we do that, maybe you just do some light trolling on the side, you know? And then who should we send a chain letter to? I don't know who Brent is and he's not showing up, so we'll just send a chain letter to him. Get him support her while she's trolling. I've been thinking about this a lot and I wanted to ask if you'd like to live together. Well, I was gonna have them move in after the wedding. Is there gonna be a negative sentiment if, if I say no? I'm gonna say no, because I think she's just like, we're getting married tomorrow, there's no reason. For much deliberation, Minta doesn't want Jay to move in with her right now. I wonder if that changed anything with their relationship. Oh, he has a not close enough sentiment. Jay feels very hurt by Minta's rejection. He thought they were closer than that. They're already on a bit of a rocky path. Oh, and Blossom's calling. It's good to hear your voice, Minta. I wanted to ask if I should get to know Sarah Scott a little bit better as a friend. They seem like good company. Yeah, go for it. I should really get going. Oh, he's sad. Oh, he she broke his little heart. Well, you got in trouble. Hey, your ridiculous chain letter, and yeah. I immediately deleted it. I swear, if anything bad happens to me in the next few days, you'll be in big trouble. Ah, it's fine. Send another one. I sent to Eliza. And she wants to level up her mischief. That's perfect. I don't have the wedding stories pack, so you're not gonna see any content from there. Oh, perfect. And we have a milestone complete. Why would you send me this chain letter? I'm, now I'm going to have bad luck for the next six years if I don't pass along to another 50 people within 24 hours. You're getting married tomorrow, and I don't have the pack, but maybe I can do like a, a mock bachelorette party and just plan something out with our friends tonight. Why are you eating popcorn right now? Figure out what you're gonna wear for your wedding. I feel like she would be very, it's very traditional normal. bride. All right, so here is her wedding look. I really wish she had like a big dramatic veil because I think she'd do like the whole like over the face and long train and make it as dramatic and about her as humanly possible. She wants to schedule a date and level up her mischief skill. I think she's probably going to go out around six-ish with some of her friends. So you're going to pamper yourself. You're going to relax and this is you time before the wedding because she would definitely want to treat herself. Eureka! Minta Berry had her fifth breakthrough and wrote down an idea for a hover lamp. Click on the note button at the top of the phone menu to learn more about it. There's even more reason for you to take a nice relaxing bath. Getting prepared for your wedding and enjoying life. Yeah, you're definitely gonna mop that up and we're going to change your outfit. And you're gonna make yourself look pretty, freshen up. You're ready to have a good girls night and go out with all your best girlfriends. So you need to pull 10 pranks and level up to level six of mischief. 
Oh, congrats. You got engaged. I'm so excited for you and Jay. Well, thank you. We are going to travel and we are going to invite Blossom, Minerva, Zoe, Moira, Francine. Let's get to know Nailani a bit better. Eliza. That will be your group of, of gals to go on the town with. Eliza would rather not come. Rude. All right, let's go up to the bar and let's get a round of drinks from Lilith Pleasant. I think you are going to get a fizzy fruity drink. Bruno. Catch up with people. Let's get a little bit closer to Zoe. Oh, I always forget this place is way too much music playing. And let's pull some pranks. I mean, this is your bachelorette. You would definitely pull some pranks. Oh, and you can use a sentiment with Blossom. <laughs> did she find it funny? She did, yay! Maybe we're gonna bar hop and we just stay here for a little bit and then we're gonna move on. I don't think this is the vibe she was going for. I mean, I think like Jay and Zoe are close, so why are you walking so slow around me? Oh, well, I got a DNA from Zoe, so hopefully that's good. Oh, there's some bad singing going on here. So I'm gonna make sure we talk to everybody. Oh, hey, it looks like Nailani has your sense of humor. That's good. Maybe you guys can become almost like work jokesters together. Poor Blossom, there's too much going on. Oh, okay. Minta has been feeling really cheerful lately. Things are going well and Minta doesn't have a care in the world. Embrace the change. Clearly the party's not that. Interesting, so we're gonna travel. Oh no, this is so <laughs> the wrong place. I was hoping this would have like a dance floor. Oh, get more drinks. You're gonna get some wine because you need more money. Well, this definitely wasn't the crazy bachelorette party that you're thinking, but it's fine. You're getting some drinks with some friends. You're talking with them, chilling. So a funny introduction. And you're gonna pull a few pranks on Travis Scott. <laughs> All right, there we go. I pulled 10 pranks. So I just need to reach level six. Oh, I am so close. I'm at 95. Let's just do like another prank. And there we go. Mint has reached level six of mischief. And I create a milestone. So now I need to clog drains at three different homes, perform voodoo five times, and achieve level 10 in mischief. I think all your gal pals kind of left you. You're gonna order your favorite drink. Let's see what that is. It's fine. You're Charm. Minta Berry. You know how to get along when no one else is around. Well, I think I'm gonna send you home for now. It is kind of late. All right, well, let's get you breakfast. Have a breakfast scramble. It's the morning of your wedding. Oh, look at how happy she is. It can vary for the amount of simoleons sims get when they marry for money. Typically in between five to 10K simoleons. I'm gonna stick with five because I have no idea. So I'll kind of like lowball it a bit. Just wanna watch TV and relax a bit. That's acceptable. And you wanna buy a bar. I do want you to have a bar. I just don't know where to fit it in your house. Just have her get ready for the day. Eureka Minta has had her sixth breakthrough and wrote down an idea for a rose perfume serum. Have you work on your logic a little bit before the wedding. <laughs> is this a logical decision to be marrying Jay? And you reach level four. Gavin. Hey Minta, I think I have a crush on Lilith. Oh no, that's a vampire. I don't think it's a good oh. idea. Just saying. I think you're gonna chat to with Blossom because she's one of your close friends. And we're gonna talk also to Nailani. Oh, Zoe's hitting you up about going to the flea market. I can't today, Zoe, and I hoped you'd be at my wedding. Who the heck are you? Cletus Harris? Sure, we can do a funny introduction. If you're still there after I've been talking to my friends. This dude who just showed up. Let's get to know him a little bit more. See what he thinks about aliens. That's very important. And just throw a little bit of mischief in there, you know? Not enough for it to be bad. You're gonna freeze him with the freeze way because it's funny. We'll be nice and, and uh, allow him to escape the ice. Mitchell, hey Mint, I've been going through some stuff lately. Do you mind if I come over and stay 
for a while at your place. I just want to get away for a few days, give myself time to process everything. I have no idea what you're going through, but okay, that's fine. I mean, I'll have enough money when... Is it you're having separation anxiety from Jay? Aren't the two of you roommates? That's probably it. Minta definitely knows how to spin a story. Oh, and go to event. Let me first set up some wedding stuff. So I modified the area a little bit. I extended it out. It looks a little ridiculous, but whatever. She wanted to get married in an art museum. I, I could definitely see... Oh, no. I could definitely see Minta wanting that. And you are going to change... Yeah, I can give you some art. She's materialistic. She'd want to, like, pretend she knows what she's talking about. Oh, there's a bar down there, too. Perfect. Two bars for your guests. All right, let's start. Well, you're definitely not wearing that. Sorry. Not sorry. So you need to talk to some guests. Simeon came. Okay, so we can talk and be mean, right? Whoa, look at Jay. He almost looks like James Bond there. We're gonna embrace him. And thank some people for coming. Oh, why is he so mad? Is he angry at me? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Um, this is an interesting wedding. I will say that much. Did that help? Oh. Oh, he is mad at her. Oh gosh. She's trying to smooth it over and she's like, I didn't mean anything personal. I just assumed we were moving in together today, you know? Let's let's just get married, you know? Like, well, we need this money anyways, right? Looks like Mint just befriended a home buddy sim. Home buddies are sims that often prefer a quiet life. They tend to enjoy calmer, craft-related hobbies rather than rambunctious adventure seekings. They might also be a bit more introverted than other sims. In terms of sim preferences, would you say that Minta likes home buddy sims? Sure. Who's a home buddy sim? I don't think it's your betrothed. Hmm. Plot thickens. Oh gosh, those two are not getting along right now. Angrily marching up to the altar. And no one's here to watch, of course. Well, he's acting sweet now. What a beautiful ceremony. Minta is exchanging her vows with Jay. I'm actually impressed as many sims came to watch. I'm actually really happy with that. She's like, this isn't my fairy tale wedding, but unresolved conflict from feeling bitter about someone nearby. Oh no. I mean, it seems like everyone's socializing well. You know, I think that is why, because I think Mitchell and Jay are very close, and so that's why he's kind of staying there. Oh, we need to put a topper on that thing before anybody touches it. All right, center on a table. Go add a wedding cake topper before anything else happens. Go, go, go. Here we go, you add a wedding cake topper. And you're going to cut the wedding cake with your betrothed. You know, the two of you haven't really been, um, socializing a lot this entire time. Did she just grab a slice of my cake with the... Please let me cut the wedding cake. We're not... Okay. Where in the world is my bartender? Yeah, you're going behind there and you're gonna make yourself... Because everyone's ruining everything while your husband does push-ups. Oh, well, your husband took it. Okay, well, you're welcome, sweetie. Oh, that awkward face. Yeah, she was thinking everything would be like peaches and roses and not quite. This isn't the wedding you thought you would have, so let's clog some drains. You can use the restroom and if you clog this drain too, whoops, I, I can't believe I accidentally did that. Let's just be a little mischievous here. Yeah. She basically almost got in a fight with her husband. I don't know where the- oh, there's a bartender. At least there's some people mixing and mingling here. That's good. Cause this looks like a, a thriving party, you know? Just like what every little girl dreams of. Clogging sinks on her wedding day and making them act up purposefully. 
With a wrench. That's a wrench, right? Well, let's socialize a little bit. Yeah. We're gonna thank some people for coming. I remember you and Dennis used to work together, but I guess you retired, so... So yeah, let's just socialize with everyone. You're gonna spend the rest of the time. I mean, your wedding's gonna be over in an hour, so... Let's just socialize. And I think your husband's kind of taking things a little personally. He's literally up here by himself. Oh, you would love that there's paparazzi at your wedding. You would think that's the coolest thing. Lifestyle in progress. What lifestyle? Oh, close-knit. Why is she thinking about your husband? Do you know something I don't? I didn't think it'd go oh, this fast to madness. Oh, and look who decided to join the party. Congratulations on your new marriage. Would you like to move in together? Yes. Jay is going to move in with us. Gavin has a son. Huh, that's new. Four of you and $1,400. So Jay is going to take 3500 Oh, wait, what did I just do? What a lovely wedding. Even an extra centerpiece left over at your Sims household inventory. And then we're going to go home. Oh, that's funny. He's friends with Eliza. They are home on their wedding night. I gave him an additional thousand just for the bartender, which I don't think it really helped, but I'll give them 4,000 more because they didn't marry for money, even though it didn't work. There, we have about eight grand. So I'd say that's pretty good. And he wants to start a new relationship on your wedding night. <laughs> and have a drink from a bar. Well, you both want a bar, right? I'll buy a bar. Oh gosh. So I added a little bar here. Minta's been one wanting one for a while. I moved the table over there and I moved some stuff into her office. And cause he wants a drink to start a new relationship. But um, I'm not ready for that yet. Wounded, feeling hurt from someone nearby, and privacy invaded. Sims don't like having to walk in on them. I mean, you guys are newlyweds. Enjoy your wedding night, and I will leave it there. Despite everything, you do love Minta. So, maybe... Maybe things will work out and be better than... I will let these two lovebirds be alone on their wedding night. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure you like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.